there is a, a fantastic leverage that we can have with the population if they understand where they stand. Green, yellow, orange, red, these are the colors of Quebec's new four-level alert system aiming to help the government and the population navigate a potential second wave of COVID-19. It'll identify each region's progress in battling the virus. So the whole idea of having a system like that is so that people can understand in advance what are the messages that are going to be given? When will they apply and what's going to happen? Green calls for vigilance and maintaining basic safety measures. Yellow is the early warning where transmission is increasing and more measures are required. Orange means higher risk activities are restricted or prohibited. And red, the maximum alert where non-essential activities may be prohibited. The assessment of each of Quebec's regions will be updated weekly based on the epidemiological situation, transmission control and health care capacity. You see how sensitive that is. Remember, two weeks ago, we were in the 60 cases per day. We're now over uh, 200. Quebec now with almost 64,000 cases since the start of the pandemic and 5,770 deaths total. Montreal Mayor Valérie Plante, the mayor of Laval, and several high-profile Legault cabinet members are in precautionary isolation after being in contact with Longueuil Mayor Sylvie Perrin, who tested positive for COVID-19. With the new alert system, almost the entire province sits in green, including Montreal. But four regions, Quebec City, the Eastern Townships, the Outaouais, and Laval are in yellow, meaning case numbers are rising. If you look at the map on my website versus the, the four uh, levels uh, and the, the four regions identified, there's a direct correlation between the two. COVIDEcoleQuebec.org is a parent-run website providing real-time verified reports of COVID-19 cases in Quebec schools. On Tuesday, the government released two lists of 120 schools that have at least one possible or confirmed case of COVID-19. But website creator Olivier Drouin says he has confirmed at least 50 more schools. Like they did uh, during the pandemic for these CHSLDs, uh, th this information became very useful. So Quebec seniors' homes where the majority of cases were in the spring, are also seeing a rise in infections. Some say more measures are needed to avoid what happened during the first wave. Adequate training, adequate in quantity and quality uh, protection, um, having our close relatives uh, back with due protection. Uh, we don't want to go into the red zone, for sure. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.